This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. This is Saturday, uh, today the 23rd. <laughs> you know, it's 24th already. <laughs> Nobody here knows what, what day it is. Well, it's Saturday. So, um, anyway, Saturday morning feeding. Uh, yeah. A uh, tough day yesterday. Tough day. Um, let's see. We'll let this car go by. Let's uh, let's hope there's no poisoning here on the uh, on the field. Uh, we're gonna get rain. It's cloudy today. Rain's moving in. Unfortunately, we'll have rain all day Sunday, but on the other hand, I uh, enjoy that because it keeps the people <laughs> indoors, so and that's good for the birds. So I know it's a terrible thing to say, but, you know, that's the way it is. The people weren't so bad here. They're terrible and, and hell bent on poisoning these birds uh, for very superficial reasons actually um, actually for no reason uh, these buildings when we have the uh, large storms and downpours come in they're they're cleaned up anyway I mean then don't build Looks like I think I heard a little bird fight in the background. Put this down here. I'm moving out the the food a little bit further out because I never want to put it in the exact same spot. Let's see. Uh, got a couple of cashews here. I'm hoping Charlie would come down, but I don't see any Charlie. Let's throw the cashews here. A couple here. A couple here. Got some egg in there. I cooked up some chicken for the foxes and for Jeremy and for a little bit for Charlie. And uh, so they got a little bit of noodles today. Uh, let's see here what we got. Here's what we got. We got some of this here. This is sunflower seeds mixed with the grain. We got a little bird crow waiting out there in the wings. Um, it's waiting for me to get out of the way. So, I'll do that, and I have if it's not Charlie, we will throw him something over there. There we go. He's going to go over there. So, I'm going to... Uh, Throw this out for the um, now we see some birds. We see some crows getting some food. Try to see if I see Charlie in that group. Not offhand. But there's plenty there to eat. Um, and it's all nutritious. So if Charlie Charlie doesn't get his cheese and and sausage today, which I cooked up fresh. Actually, I cooked up the eggs fresh this morning, too. Um, it's not the end of the world. Because... Because there are plenty of other good things to eat on the field. Oh. I'm thinking of ways to make income so that I could have the opportunity to raise awareness here 
and uh, when I thought of a really good program, and I hope Anita and Jeremy are listening, uh, I call it um, Subscribe to Save. And that means people, we all know that in the, in the globalization of this world, the masses of people are getting poorer. The very elite are getting richer, but most people are getting poorer. So it's hard for people who are trying to make ends meet, all these homeless people, and, um, and yet I think still within all of us, we want to do something good. So I thought of an idea to help raise funds to be able to, to get this, this story out in the open and also benefit small organizations like the Raptor Trust and rescue organizations, uh, Avery's that rescue birds and sanctuaries and care for wild birds and wild animals. I uh, thought that we could use some of the funds there. If we could gather enough subscribers, uh, then you could have ads on your on your uh, channel. I think that's what YouTube does. This is all new for me. I, I only know this for watching and subscribing to other uh, channels. But it's just an idea. And uh, people don't have to donate money, but if they subscribe, uh, um, they're, by subscribing, that is some way of earning income. Because if you get enough subscribers, then you can, um, then YouTube allows you to put those ads on there and then you can produce income. And with that, we could do a lot of things. Um, we could take some of that money uh, here. If, if I could take some of those samples to the laboratory, I could open up that case with the district attorney. We could start locking down these people, maybe even attract a young film director willing to do a small documentary. But I think that it's, it's worth trying. And all you have to do is click and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything because I just, I'm not moving forward here and changing the feeding station is going to happen anyway, but um, it, it doesn't matter. Wh wherever I feed birds, there'll be people on the lookout to abuse them and poison them. The whole idea is to bring, to bring this two and a half year uh, project out into the open. I just, I just feel that moving away and not having these people held accountable and, and helping to change the mentality here and bringing that article out in the open, but it would be great to have some funds. And so, uh, I don't know, it's just an idea, a way of raising money uh, where it doesn't cost people money. So um, that's what I kind of came up with that, came up with that idea. So we'll see. Um, just it's just an idea but uh, but Anita you, Anita you could you know uh, be the head of the person oh we have hawks here <laughs> here I'm talking about <laughs> about other things and here we have uh, hawks coming down um, Wow but well, Charlie's not gonna come down for this he's not gonna come down he's not gonna come down for that but I'll put his stuff out here just the same up here and we'll see what happens but I'll put some food here yeah. somebody did get something there wow we did have it looked like two hawks came down it looked like two hawks came down so we'll see I can say the birds won't come down when when the hawks are here so I'm going to exit the field here there's food there in that little area for Charlie there's food on the electrical box for Charlie there's also um, I have some in the bag here I might uh, oh there's the hawk there's two hawks one two wow so we'll, 
we'll get oh there's Jeremy there's Jeremy Jeremy's on the ground hopefully you can see him there he goes up in the air there he is he's gonna come in for a landing Wow, look at that. There he landed. There's Jeremy. He landed. And there's another hawk swooping down. Actually, that's no friend of Jeremy's, this other hawk. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's another hawk. Oh, one, two. They're battling or attacking each other on the ground. Looks like. Can't be sure. But this is precisely what I want to bring out in the open. Um, I think people need to see this. I mean, hawks should not be down here eating this food uh, for any of these birds. But there's just no insects. So you have this high grass. But if you part it and you look at the soil, there's nothing living in it. It's just dead. It's just dead. And if you take a, 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 a trowel and you dig a few inches deep, you won't find any worms. When we have heavy rains here, uh, 12 years ago, there used to be earthworms that would come out of the soil and you'd see them on the sidewalks. There's not one worm here. There used to be slugs here 